Do you like to do drugs? Well, people in the past certainly did. Historians have been more open about drug use by past populations in recent years, showing that no matter what era we're living in, people love to get F-worded up. Here are a few instances of our ancestors getting blasted on psychoactive substances. The Maya were a Mesoamerican civilization that lasted from around 2000 BC to 1697 AD. They occupied territory in Mexico, Guatemala, and Belize. It's known that the Maya practiced human sacrifice rituals. But I think a lesser known aspect of these ritual ceremonies is that they actually used psychoactive drugs when performing them. Now, were they using LSD during these ceremonies? No. But they were using substances like balache. It was a drink made with the bark of the leguminous tree. Le Leguminio. It was a drink made from the bark of the leguminous tree. Leguminous Balache was a drink made with the bark of the leguminous tree, fermented in water and honey. Another drink that was used was chihi. Chi. Chihi. A fermented sap from the mogwai plant. They would use substances like these to minimize pain during sacrifice rituals, which are thought to be offerings to the gods. They would usually participate in these rituals underground, which they believed helped them to better connect with the spirit world. They also chewed tobacco mixed with datura, which would induce intense hallucinations. Psychedelic mushrooms were used in human decapitation rituals and before battles. Rad. Now, now the funny thing is, in addition to taking these substances orally, the Maya also ingested them using enemas. I'm sure you know what an enema is, but if you don't, it's a way of transporting something, usually a liquid, into your ass. Yes, the Maya were boofing psychedelics. Dope. A 1986 study conducted by Peter de Schmidt and Nicholas Helmuth, Helmuth, who received the Nobel History Prize in 2022, talks about the consumption of drugs through the anus. This quote by old Peter de Schmidt is really funny. Quote, The results certainly support the theoretical suggestion that alcohol is absorbed well from an enema. So this is just is making me picture a professor type guy pouring alcohol or drugs into his asshole and his face lighting up with pleasure because from <laughs> because it sounds like it definitely worked. The next example of historical drug use we're going to take a look at is the use of ayahuasca. Located in the Amazon, including areas in countries like Colombia, Ecuador, Peru, Bolivia, Brazil, and Venezuela. Ayahuasca is a psychedelic brewed drink administered by a shaman and made from the boiled leaves of the... Oh fuck, here we go. Anisteropus capi vine with the leaves of the Psychotria viridius or Diplot... <laughs> Diplopterius... Cabarena, 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 Cab, Cabarena, Cabarena, Cabarena plants. You know, I, I don't think I did very bad with that. The word ayahuasca translates to vine of the soul, which comes from the Quechua language. Ayahuasca is commonly used today as a way for tech bros to have mystical experiences, to make them better at scamming people into believing their new software that identifies people by their butthole print is going to change the world. But it's been used by indigenous people for centuries to help induce visions, delve deeper into one's own psyche, and to facilitate contact with the spirit world. It's reported to have been used as far back as at least 5,000 years, with direct evidence showing its use 1,000 years ago. It's basically a longer lasting DMT. So you trip for about 5 hours and experience euphoria, visual hallucinations, reality shattering revelations, and shitting and puking your guts out. <laughs> Sometimes it's used for healing, where the affected person will consume ayahuasca to try and get to the bottom of their affliction, or illness diagnosis, where a shaman will take it to get information on how to treat another person's affliction. Archaeological evidence includes small ceramic vessels associated with ayahuasca rituals dating back to around 2400 BC, and shamanic snuffs containing bufotenine, DMT, and harmine dating back to around 1000 years in present day Bolivia. People report ayahuasca helping them overcome addictions, depression, and anxiety. Here's a video simulating an ayahuasca experience. If you've done ayahuasca, let me know if it's accurate.
Moving on to the late 17th century, we're taking a look at the Salem Witch Trials. The Witch Trials were hearings in the town of Salem, Massachusetts from February 1692 to May 1693 that sought to figure out if witches were the cause of odd things happening around the area, such as women and young girls screaming, telling people they were possessed by the devil, making weird sounds, and even contorting themselves into strange positions. At the end of it all, 19 people had been executed by hanging, with another 5 dying in custody. Giles Corey, the husband of one of the executed by hanging, Martha Corey, was also convicted and executed for witchcraft by being crushed by stones for two days. Jesus Christ. Motherfuckers weren't playing back then. You may think these people were just really, really retarded for doing all this, and yeah, some of them probably were really retarded. But a fascinating theory that's been proposed by historians is that a type of fungus called ergot grew on the wheat and rye that people consumed regularly, poisoned the people of Salem, with the people acting the strangest being the most affected. Also interesting note, LSD, the common psychedelic compound used in everything from mind control experiments to dirty hippie orgies, is derived from ergot. It could have even been the cause of symptoms attributed to infectious diseases at the time, as in 1670, a French doctor, Dr. Thulier, proposed the idea that the consumption of rye infected with ergot was responsible for some ailments. So basically, if this theory is correct, which it sounds right to me, then some of the people of Salem were tripping fucking balls. Let's compare the ergot poisoning with the symptoms of witchery. Being a witch supposedly entailed having fits, screaming, throwing things, uttering peculiar sounds, and contorting yourself into strange positions. Ergot poisoning consists of hallucinations, having muscle spasms, rigid flexed limbs, and convulsions. Hmm, very, very interesting. The witch trials have in the past been chalked up to extreme religious dogma, mass hysteria, and xenophobia, but I think it's probably all three, with a sprinkle of psychedelic fungus thrown in for good measure. It seems like the ergot was a catalyst for all the worries and insecurities people faced at the time to rear their ugly heads and pretty much throw the town into chaos. I mean, I mean, can you just imagine being able to call someone you don't like a witch and having just having them killed after that's actually pretty sick i mean if i was living in 1692 that bitch that cut in front of me in the line at aldi would be hanging from a rope right now well we're yet again to the end of the slop pile if you want more slop as always like comment subscribe wash your ass and have a good day